Alright guys, I'm certain you've seen this around a little bit, but according to Sputnik, this aircraft is uh, nearly ready. It's a hypersonic um, upper atmospheric glider, uh, clocks in at 7,680 miles per hour, and designed to carry specifically ICBMs. So it can probably go from Russia to Washington or from Moscow to DC in a little bit of an hour. So it can probably be launched out of a regular airplane in high orbit and no doubt can travel incredible distances, probably two or three times around the planet before it has to refuel and everything else. I know it says it's a glider, but we can't always trust the source. It has to have some kind of propulsion. Knowing Russia, it probably does. So they're calling it a hypersonic glider, but it usually would have some kind of propulsion device attached. Uh, looks pretty good, actually. Russia's hypersonic 7680 MPH uh, nuclear glider armed with ICBMs are almost ready. It's coming from military intelligence. The lethal hypersonic nuclear glider looks to revolutionize defense aviation, could travel a distance from Moscow to London in 13 minutes, and could penetrate NATO's missile defense system in that amount of time. With that kind of timing, ladies and gentlemen, any missile systems would be absolutely just gone. Um, Russia is calling it Project 4202. The aircraft, as it's actually called, so I told you it wasn't just a glider, it's an actual everything else, um, believed to be a um, U-74 is ready for action according to Britain. So this right here kind of tells me that if it's designed around a U-74 and it's ready, um, 7,680 miles per hour, ladies and gentlemen, and it's basically, they're calling it a glider. I, Ladies and gentlemen, I don't believe it's just a glider. I, I mean, so many of those Lockheed Martin designs have an internal uh, ion jet engine or something and it has at least some propulsion capabilities no doubt so this is what's coming out um, it'll fit with an RS-28 uh, Sarmat intercontinental ballistic missile so that works with it uh, details about the glider specification still remain secret um, April US military officials Confirm the existence of Russia's hypersonic glider. Uh, considered a first in growing aviation arms, both the U.S. and China are now hurrying to develop comparable gliders with nuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles uh, designed um, and basically increases the defense gap between the military superpowers and the rest of the world. So... I highly doubt if it can move from Moscow to London in 13 minutes, any missile system would be able to do anything. I mean, that's just, to be honest, if you think about how long it takes to get the GO codes to do something, even if a commander would break rank and just shoot as many missiles out of the sky, unless they have something that can do EMP, and knock that glider's systems all haywire. I mean, you're not going to get something that will absolutely, you know, do it. You won't even be able to track it. I mean, I understand we all have comparable gliders, comparable missile systems. And I know that this is just, you know, oh my goodness, somebody has a new something out. Oh, oh, that's fine, everything. I, I agree, but... It's an experimental U-74 and it's been detailed by defense analysts. 
uh, website uh, strandscare.ru, which determined that the aircraft's outstanding maneuverability and high speeds would render NATO's missile defense system, USTHAD, shield useless. 